What is up? My name is Leon. I am a third year medical student on my clinical rotations. Maintaining a consistent study schedule during your clinical rotations can be difficult. So I made this spreadsheet to plan out and schedule exactly what I need to study and how much of it I need to do. And I hope that this could help you with your studying as well if you're in a similar situation. I try to make this spreadsheet look as intuitive as possible, and so if you think you can figure out how to use it, then feel free to skip this video. I've linked the spreadsheet in the video description below. You can download it for free. But if you're still a little bit confused, and keep watching. This spreadsheet is based off of what seems to be the Reddit majority consensus on the most high yield resources for clerkships and step two, which are UWorld, Anki, and of course, MBME practice exams. And then on a general level, Every cell in the spreadsheet that has a yellow highlight is a calculation. So for example, um, this cell indicates the number of days for the pediatrics clerkship based on the start and end date. And then this cell calculates the number of questions you need to do per day in order to complete UWorld by the end of the clerkship. To start using the spreadsheet, I would first reorder these rows to match your clinical schedule and then changing the start and end dates for each rotation. And then once you do that, these columns will be automatically updated. This column is actually pretty neat because it will tell you every single day exactly how many days left are in your current rotation. As for these columns here, this is the number of UL questions you have to do per rotation current as of one month ago. This column is your predicted number of incorrect UL questions. So I like to complete or redo all my incorrects before I take the shelf just to make sure that I'm actually learning and retaining from my mistakes. And so if you're scoring in the 70s for UL, which is really good for a first pass, you can keep this at 30%. If you're scoring a little bit lower than, you know, maybe in the 60s, then you can change that to 40. And then this column is the number of MBME questions that you're aiming to do before you take the shelf. And this is these values are just the maximum number of questions that are available right now from MBME. I make it my goal to at least try to see all of the MBME questions that are out there because um, these are the questions that are most representative of what's going to be on the shelf most representative of what the test takers are looking for. So definitely high yield to do or try to hit most of those. And then for the rest of the columns, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This, these three columns are for you world only. And then these three are for all the questions together. This is a little simulator I made. You can play with this value to get a prediction for each rotation on how many questions you need to complete. And that's pretty much it for the scheduler. Here are some of my notes that I've written for myself. You can take what you want from them. And on a general level, I just like to take a look at this spreadsheet every day or two and get some idea of how on track I am for my studying, whether I need to pick up the pace, whether I can slow it down, chill a little bit. Um, these numbers will give me some idea of exactly where I am in that spectrum. And over time, you can get a more intuitive sense of where you are. So this is my second rotation and I've kind of figured out that if I'm doing between 20 to 30 year old questions per day, every single day of the week, then I will generally be in a good spot by the time the shelf rolls around. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're a medical student on your third year rotation, good luck. Wish you the best.